Adobe Creative Suite has very good tools to create animations. One for character design, one for animating characters, one for special effects and one for video editing. A perfect set of tools for professional animators. But is that a good option for non-professional animators who cannot spend a lot of time on all these different tools? Maybe Adobe is not for everyone, but Animaker is. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to create the following animation using Animaker. Would you like to dance with me? Yes, I would love to. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe for more video making tutorials like this. With that out of the way, let's begin. Visit Animaker.com and sign up to create a free account. Then select the following options on the dashboard to create a new video project. This is the interface of the application. It is divided into four simple parts. In the center is the workspace where we'll be creating our video. On the right hand side is the scene section, like how multiple slides form a presentation, multiple scenes combined to form a video. At the bottom, we have the timeline, starting from the animation timeline, then we have the video and audio timeline, and finally, we have the camera timeline. On the left hand side is the library. It has the animation characters, properties, stock images and videos, and music tracks needed to create a video. Let's start with adding a background to the scene. Go to the background section of the library. I want a background that looks like a bar. You can notice a set of options over here. This is called the item menu. Every object added to the workspace will have an item menu of its own. You can use this option over here to change the colors in the background. I'm fine with the current colors. Let's add the characters to the scene. You have two options to add characters. You can use the characters from the library or you can create a custom character. Select the create your own option from the my Characters section if you want to create a custom character. It will open the character builder tool. Now select a basic template and start building your character. You can customize each and every part of it and you can create billions of unique characters using all these options. Save it using the option at the top. Now get back to the project and find your character under the my characters section. For this tutorial, I'm going to use a character that is already present in the library. Once you click on a character, it will appear on the workspace. Now on the timeline, you can notice a purple colored bar. You can see this bar appearing whenever you add any element to the workspace. It represents how long an element is going to stay in the scene. Let's say we want to make this character appear after the third second. We have to keep this purple bar between the same duration. Let's preview the scene to see how this works. Let's extend this purple bar back to the start of the scene. With the character selected, on the right hand side, you can notice the actions tab. It has more than 500 actions that can be applied to the character. For example, I want this character to be drinking wine. Like this, you can apply different actions to the character. Let's have one more character. I want this male character to be facing the other character. To change its direction, you can use the option named flip present in the item menu. Let's make the characters talk. I want this male character to ask the female for dancing and she responds. So let's add the voiceover to the male character first. You can find the option to add voiceover in the item menu of the character. There are three different options to add voiceovers. You can directly record and add your own voice as voiceover. or you can upload a pre-recorded file as a voiceover. Or the final option that we'll be using in this tutorial is the text-to-speech option. Type the dialog, select the gender, language and voice. Use the play option to preview. Would you like to dance with me? Right now the voice sounds a bit robotic, but you can optimize it using the options over here. You can control the speed, pitch and volume. You can also add breath and pause between words. If you have a paid plan, you can access the auto enhance option, which is much easier to use. Would you like to dance with me? Now it sounds much better, isn't it? Select the sync option to apply it to the video. You can see the voiceover in the video and the audio timeline. If you click on the audio, you will get a few more options. You can preview the audio, control its volume, Duplicate, edit and delete it. In the same way, let's add the voiceover to the female character.
I'm moving the voiceover track on the timeline to match the order of the conversation. Let's have a preview. Would you like to dance with me? Yes, I would love to. It looks good, but it would be better if you make it look like the male character walked towards the female character and then asks for dancing. That means we make the male character perform two different actions, walking and then talking. Let's see how to do it. Select the action plus option from the item menu of the character. Now you can notice a thumb on the timeline. This is the first action and the first action is walking. We want this character to be walking from the right hand side. So let's keep it over there. Now click on the plus icon on the right hand side to add the next action. The second action is standing. On the timeline you can notice the second action. Let's keep the second action around the fifth second giving the first action some time. Select apply. We know that the character talks after the 5th second, so let's move the voiceovers in the timeline to match the actions. As the final step, let's add a music track to the video. You can find the music track in the music section of the library. It has more than 30,000 copyright free music tracks. Keep the pointer over a track to hear it and click on it to apply it to the video. Let's reduce the volume so that it won't overpower the voiceover tracks that we added earlier. Let's preview the scene. Would you like to dance with me? Yes, I would love to. Use this plus option on the scene section to add a new scene. In the same way, you can create multiple scenes and complete your animation video. To download, use the publish option at the top, click on the download video option followed by selecting download. It will take a few minutes to render your video and it will be ready for download. Animaker can be used for a lot of different purposes. Some people use it to create story time videos for YouTube. Some others use it to create educational videos for their assignments and so on. If you are interested in knowing more about Animaker and the different purposes that you can use it for, you can check out the link in the description. So now you know how to create animations without using complex tools like Adobe. So what are you waiting for? Give it a try and let us know your experience in the comment section.